Hey guys, Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com looking at the HTC One. We're at the launch event. Just want to show you some more things here. We've got Sense 5 here, a new version of Sense. So let's take a look at SMS. Again, beautiful picture display here. We get this really in interesting flat UI. It's not conversation bubbles like we're kind of used to. Uh, kind of this very flat, and, and the camera's having trouble focusing, kind of this flat UI. That's the story with HTC Sense 5. It's a flat UI everywhere you look. And you know, that's a really good thing. Let's go into the dialer, see what that's about. So like in Android 4.0 and from there on, we have a swipe to the right, to the left gesture to access your things. And this is just a gorgeous UI uh, here for the new version of Sense. We go all the way, all the way to the right almost. We have people. We've got all these, these quick action thingies. A lot to see here in the new version of Sense. HTC has spent a considerable amount of time uh, messing around with Sense. Let's go through the settings and take a look at what we have here. Let's scroll to the top. Uh, we have new buttons here, kind of a different style with a little kind of slashed line there, and that'll allow you to turn on the various toggles. Uh, we've got media output to go to your DL DLNA-capable device. Here in more, we've got mobile network sharing, NFC toggle, and notice something here. NFC is turned on, but we don't have an annoying NFC notification here in the top bar. That is a relief. Going down to personalize, see what we have here. We have wallpaper, lock screen style, and this is interesting. We've seen this in previous versions of Sense. We can do the no lock screen, which is kind of cool. Uh, we've got music, we've got photo album, productivity, which just shows you your calendar, and wallpaper, which is what is there currently. Customize home screen, which will bring you into the widget adding view, and some sound settings here. Let's keep going down. Accounts in sync, you know what that looks like. Just a really nicely skinned UI. I'd say it's nicer than stock Android, and, and HTC has always done that. Location services, some of this stuff is kind of boring here. Let's see if we can find some interesting stuff. We've got a Beats Audio toggle on and off. We talked about dis display gestures and buttons in a previous video. Uh, we can change the double click speed for the uh, multitask UI. We have G sensor calibration. Then we've got that three finger output gesture to turn on the DLNA to go to your TV screen. Uh, let's see what we have in apps. See how things look, because things look different. For example, if you go into power, just get this beautiful HTC UI that, that's a little bit familiar here. Language and keyboard settings, so we can turn on trace, give you that swipe like. Uh, situation where you could swipe along the keys. Developer options. Yes, don't ask me again. I know. Um, so you can turn on developer options like you can. Oddly, you cannot turn on developer options here. And you can turn off screen animations and all that stuff. And finally, down in the bottom of the setting, software information, HTC Sense 5.0 says it, and Android 4.1.2, though I imagine this is going to be upgradable to Key Lime Pi. HTC says that this is capable of running future versions of Android, so we assume that is what that means. So just a quick look at settings and some other stuff here in Sense 5 on the HTC One. I want to get a closer look here at Blink Feed, this new concept that HTC wants to bring in lots of different news feeds, glanceable information from Facebook, Twitter, your calendar, news services, all on your home screen. One question I had is, is this endlessly scrolling? And well, you tell me. Yes, it keeps going and going and going. Another question I had about this, and I'll be, as you can see, these are little tiles with beautiful images uh, that link to stories. And if you tap on one of these, like for example, Rihanna's dad wants grandchildren. That's fascinating. It takes you into the same exact app every time. It's a reader. It's just a reader. The font size is adjustable, which is nice. A very minimal reader. And if you hit the back button up here, it will go back to that screen. I was also curious if you can configure the size of these tiles by tapping and holding, and the answer is no. Uh, Blink Feed will automatically change the size of the tiles, presumably to a preset mosaic. That kind of looks good. So we've got sort of a um, one that goes two thirds of the way, and then a third. We've got a full, full width one, another full width one, and we've got a skinny one. So really interesting how they do this. And now, if you want to change the settings of this guy, you go up to here to these three dots. And by the way, there's a search bar. I wonder what that does. Oh, I see. It searches through all of your information here that you have on your Blink Feed. That could be handy. We go to Topics and Services. This shows you all the stuff you can add. And I really like this section, Services and Apps, because you can add Facebook, Twitter. That's something I would definitely do if you can see it. I would also add Calendar, Zoe Share. That's an interesting way to kind of put together pictures that you've taken uh, in a really nice artistic way. Kid Mode, I have no idea what that is. We'll have to check that out later. And these are the featured headlines. These are from the different news services. Uh, there's not that much here right now. Presumably more will be added in the future. And you can drill down into categories. Let's go to technology and science, shall we? Gadgets, that sounds good. So now if we go back to the home screen, 
we should be getting some more gadget stuff. Now, of course, you might be wondering, where's the real home screen, like the traditional Android home screen? It's to the right. And you can actually specify where that occurs. So if we add a panel, and I'm just guessing here, but you should be able to tap and hold, yep, and put this somewhere else. You should be able to do that uh, so that maybe your blank feed is in the center and then your other standard Android home screens are on the side. As mentioned, in order to add widgets, you pinch. Uh, that's HTC Leap right there, but kind of reconfigured, I guess, to be a little bit more uh, inclusive of other stuff. We've got all of our widgets here, really fast performance. Let's take a complex widget. Ooh, weather clock, hey. Now that's good, because we thought weather clock was dead. Can't be an HTC phone if you don't have weather clock. Anyway, so a look at Blink Feed and the home screen system here uh, on the HTC One. Something else to note is that from here in the app tray, you can't tap and hold anymore to bring back to the home screen. You gotta go like that. That's it for now.